In this tutorial, we are going to see how to concatenate text functions and how to separate text functions without using any formula. Yes, I am repeating once again. I will be doing this exercise without using any formula with the help of just few button clicks. So for that we have to use Power Query Editor which comes automatically in 2016 version and able. If you are using MS Excel below 2016 then you need to add, add in this function separately. Power Query Editor is really a very nice tool which can save your lots of time and that too without using any formula. Majority of the Excel users are still doing this kind of work with the traditional method. This takes lots of time and also involves lots of complication. But with the help of Power Query Editor, we do not need to remember any formula and just with the help of few button clicks, you can solve these kind of problems very easily. So let us see how we can do that. The first thing we have to do is we have to press Ctrl T so that whole data range is selected and this is converted into date, date, uh, table format. So uh, they, once you will do Ctrl T, they will ask you, does your table has headers? I will say okay because I have headers in my table. So you can see now your data is being converted into table format. Now the next task is to pull this data into Power Query Editor where we will be performing some queries and formatting. For that, click on data tab from where you want to take the data to Power Query Editor from this table. So I will click on from table. As soon as you will click on from table, then you can see a new window will pop up, and this is nothing but Power Query Editor. This is inbuilt function in MS Excel 2016 and able. If you are using for the first time, then you might be getting a little bit confused but this is really easy and you can just follow what I'm doing so we have two problems the first thing is that we want to concatenate the first four columns that is title first name middle name and last name I want a new column where the text from first column second column, third column and fourth column should be clubbed into new column. So it's very simple here. Just click all the columns which you want to concatenate. So I have selected first four column here. Next click on transport, sorry transform. Here you can see there is option merge column. So click on that. Now they will ask you some questions. If you are merging four columns, then what is the separated one? Of course, if you want, if you are having four text in a cell, then definitely there should be some separator. So in this case, we are using space. That is doctor space tom space f dot priority. So this will be the output. Now new column name. This is optional. This is but again we can write here concatenate just for example I will click on ok and let's see what happened you can see all the four separated column has gone away and new column has been generated where the text has been concatenated all the text has been clubbed and you can see 
it's so easy without typing any formula just with the help of few button clicks so okay so the next thing that we want to do is just reverse over what we have done right now so you can see in this uh, column we have city name state and then you have zip area of that city so if i want to split this column into three different columns how we can do in power query without using any formula with the help of just few buttons so that we can see so just select the column split column and they are asking you how you want to split i will split by delimiter because you can see there is a comma this is a delimiter so as soon as you will click you can see the power query is so smart that automatically they have selected select or enter delimiter so automatically they have taken comma as a delimiter and that is what exactly we want to enter we want to split this column by using comma as delimiter because comma is the only delimiter in this column or in the whole text so now they, they, they uh, below that you can see they are asking split at how you want to split left most delimiter you want to split only first uh, uh, letter or you want to split right most delimiter or you want to split the text every time comma is present in the text so this is the uh, i think uh, the best uh, you know thing that we want to do in this uh, exercise so we will be splitting by using comma and for each occurrence of the delimiter so whenever there is comma the text will be separated into the new column so let's try click on okay so now you can see instead of one column now we have three different column first column you have city name in second you have state and in third you have zip so here you can do by double clicking you can do some configuration like this is city and this is your state so i will give this as a state and And the last, this column, you zip, zip of this thing. So we have seen how to concatenate and how to split the column. So we have seen both these scenarios.